welcome back. So, it is that time of the month. Time to unbox our Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. First off, I am in love with the bags this month. The, like, leopard? Cheetah? I don't know. With the pop of orange, obsessed. But the real question is, What's in the bags? And if you're not familiar, Ipsy is the leading beauty subscription service in the United States. If you guys wanna check out Ipsy, there is a link in the description box. You can even take a little two minute quiz to customize the kind of makeup you like so Ipsy has a better idea of what kind of beauty products to send to you. Let's dive right in and start with our Ipsy Glam Bag. As always, this is $13 a month. So first up from Firma Beauty, we have a 405 Precision Angled Blending Brush Pro. This looks really nice. I wonder if this is for eyeshadow? I feel like I kind of want to use this for concealer. Huh. Then we have from PYT Beauty. This is the Upcycle Eyeshadow Palette. I love this simple little pink color story. I love that there's two mattes, one transition, one dark, and then two shimmers. This is truly like an all-in-one little palette. And now from V Cosmetics, we have a liquid lipstick in the shade Faith. Love this color. It's nude. And then we have a Their Real Mascara from Benefit. Unbelievable mascara. If you've never tried this mascara, this is like a cult classic. And lastly, we have the Tatcha Water Cream, guys. It is one of the most, like, ultra hydrating, so soothing and smoothing on the skin underneath makeup. And because it has a beautiful watery thin consistency, obviously it's insanely hydrating, but especially if your combination are oily, this is such a good moisturizer because the lighter consistency won't make you feel more shiny or heavy. And it's obviously also incredible for dry and mature skin. Now onto the Glam Bag Plus. Now the Glam Bag Plus comes with five full size products for $28 a month and you actually get to pick three of them. That is lit. So first up we have from a brand called Vemigas. I have never heard of this. This is the Boquita de Rosa Lip Mask. Was that good? I mean you gotta say it like that. I don't want to say it like, you know, Boquita de Rosa. But I've never heard of this brand and I love me a lip mask. Let's go ahead and get this on the lips. Because this time of the year, <laughs> my lips are so dry. And it's not overly fragranced, which I really like. Mmm. Oh my god, wow, that has a really nice slip to it. It's a little on the thicker side, which I like. That feels really good. All right, so we're gonna let this sit on the lips while we do the rest of our makeup and see how they feel. Especially that we're going in with that liquid lipstick from V Cosmetics. I want to hydrate the lips. Now we have from REM Beauty. These are lashes in the cut daydreaming, and I'm very happy about it because they are totally in the kind of cut that I like, where they're a little longer on the ends. And now from Give Them Lala Beauty, another brand I've never heard of. This is the Precision Tip Eyeliner in black. All of these are so hard to open. Oh my god, tell me there's plastic on this too. Almost. Oh my god, finally. Okay, so, all right, there's no shaker. It is a felt tip liner. Hmm, okay. Looks very, very black, so we are definitely gonna use this on the eyes. And now we have, oh my god, stop. The Elemis Superfood Midnight Facial Sleeping Cream. You guys know how I feel about Elemis. This is one of the best overnight moisturizers ever. I already have one of these and it's like halfway gone. So this is incredible. And lastly, we have from KBD an Everlasting Blush. I think, are these new? I think they're new. I don't know. They might not be new. Okay, the packaging. Look at this. It's like a beautiful rose packaging and this is in the shade Box Glove 20. Okay, this literally matches my backdrop perfectly. So now that everything is unboxed, you can see right here that all five items in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus are worth $132 full price and the Ipsy Glam Bag retails for $28 a month which means you are getting everything for $5.60 each. Gotta love it. So without any further ado, we are gonna use all of the products in our Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus to complete a beautiful makeup look today. Let's dive in. So first off, we are starting with this water cream because I have not had one of these bad boys in a while and I missed her. This has to be one of the most beautiful moisturizers, but especially under makeup because it's just so lightweight. So it's not competing with your foundation. A lot of the times the reason our foundation ends up breaking apart or just looks really oily or heavy is actually because the moisturizer underneath is really just maybe too heavy or some ingredient in it is just fighting the formula of the foundation. This one is just 
chef's kiss. Okay, so I went ahead and filled my brows with my Precision Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 4, and then I used my Anastasia Concealer to prime the lids, set it with a little Huda Beauty setting powder, and now I'm going in with the PYT Beauty Upcycle Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think there's shade names here, but I'm gonna go in with this kind of pinky mauve transition shade, and we're gonna go ahead and start stamping this in the crease, really blowing this out as our transition shade. Wow, that blends like a dream. That was one dip into the eyeshadow palette. Now I'm going to dip into this darker brown with the Firma Beauty 405 brush. Tap off the excess. And we're just going to stamp this on the outer half of the lid, a little bit into the crease, but not as high as that first transition shade. I really like the tapered aspect to this brush. It's super easy to like stamp color on. And now I'm switching back to the first brush I used to deposit the transition color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that edge out to make sure everything is super seamless without depositing any more of that brown onto the eye so your eyes don't get too dark and raccoony. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into this kind of pink now that I look at it it's like a pink gold duochrome which is really pretty I'm gonna apply this with my finger because I just think that's gonna give us the best payoff oh yeah now I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade in the palette this is like a very pearlescent champagne with a little bit of a pink to it and now I'm gonna press this on the super inside of the lid Ooh. That is super pretty. Now that I have the shape, I'm just gonna intensify it with my finger a bit. Ooh, yeah. That is so pretty. All right, so the top of the eyes are pretty much done. I really like that palette. It is super just like user-friendly. It's a very wearable palette. Like this is a really beautiful muted pink color scheme. Now I'm gonna go in with the Give Them Lala Eyeliner and I'm not in the mood to have a mental breakdown doing my wing liner today, so we're gonna use tape. This is one of my favorite tricks. I just take a little bit of scotch tape and line her up with the bottom lash line where I want my liner to go and just press her on down. Those angles are not even at all. That is why we do it this way. All right, let's go ahead with the liner. I'm super interested because I'm very picky with eyeliners. Okay, that is one eye done. Um, this is not bad at all. I love how long the tip is. And the other thing I really enjoy about this is the side of it actually works where when you're just tapping on the inside to get a super thin line in there, it actually comes out. It's not bleeding at all. I was worried when I swatched it on my hand because it was super black, but I was nervous it wasn't gonna be matte. I love a matte eyeliner because it doesn't catch the light. I think shiny eyeliners, when they dry down, it can look a little messy. And I love a matte eyeliner because it just looks super, super black. There we go. Wow, very big fan of that. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Their Real Magnet Mascara. This is from Benefit. This literally has been like a cult classic for years. The brush is amazing, especially for your bottom lashes because it's that thin, small, plasticky brush. But even for the top, it just grips your lashes so good. It gives them a lot of separation, volume, curl. All right, now I'm going in with the REM Beauty Lashes. Once again, these are in the cut Daydreaming. Okay, these are them on. They're definitely pretty, but they're definitely um, more dainty. Not really my cup of tea because I like a lash. But for 98% of people that want like human lashes, I think these would be phenomenal. And I think also up against our wing liner today, it's not really showing off the lash because it's kind of hiding them because they're just a little bit more on the natural side, but the quality was really good. They went on nice. But yeah, like I said, they're a little soft for me, but they're nice. All right, now for a little bit of the KVD Everlasting Blush. This is in Foxglove. I'm very excited for this. This looks like a beautiful cool tone color for fall. Okay, she is a little bit more pigmented than I expected. A good fluffy brush just to buff that in. I was kind of nervous looking at the color in the pan that it wasn't gonna like pop. She's showing up, she's popping. Ooh, well that is Gorge. What a pretty color for winter. It literally looks like a, because of the cool tone in it, your cheeks are flushed kind of a thing. That is exactly what this complexion needed. All right, now to finish up the under eye, I'm taking a little bit of that first transition shade and I'm gonna run this all along the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little more of the dark brown and we're just gonna run this on the outside half of the lower lash line, really hugged up against the lashes. Oh yeah, look at the difference. Just giving that 
Okay, now a little bit of the Their Real Mascara on the bottom lashes. There truly is no better mascara for the bottom lashes. It doesn't bump or mess up anything. It separates, just makes them look so... Ooh. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of the lightest shade in the eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna use that to highlight the inner corner. Now it's time for lips, so we're going in with V Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Faith. My lips feel great after that lip mask, by the way. That was from Amigas. Okay, let's try this bad boy out. Very full coverage. Still going with the first swipe. Haven't dipped back into the tube. Let's see how far we can go. Well, I just did my entire lip with one swipe. That is how full coverage that was. Ooh, and I like it even more now that it's drying down a little bit darker. I was nervous I was gonna have to use a lip liner with it, but I like that it's drying down deeper because I don't feel like I need a lip liner now. All right, the lip is dried down, so I want to make sure it's not gonna be sticky or weird. Nice! Love it. No weirdness. It's not cracking or peeling. I am going to put a glossy-ish thing on top. This is the Tarte Lip Plump just because I am not a matte lip person. I'm a glossy lip person and I want to see how product goes on top of this. So we're just going to do a little bit in the center. All right. Very nice. No breaking up. It went well with the other formula. All right, guys. This is the final look using everything in our Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. Everything in both of these bags this month was so wearable. Like sometimes I I know people can be afraid in subscription services that you're gonna get like really wild stuff that you're never gonna wear. Like everything in this you could wear any day. The eyeshadow palette, the mascara, the eyeliner, the blush, but especially I mean obviously the lip mask, the moisturizer. You have the Tatcha moisturizer in the regular Ipsy bag, which is awesome because I mean obviously for the price it's like insane. These lashes that were throwing me, like I said they're very dainty. These would be perfect for a normal person, but I am so used to wearing big lashes that I feel naked. This truly is what I love about Ipsy. Every single month I try products I may have never tried if I didn't do this and every single time your bag shows up it is like a little gift for you to dive in play with makeup get outside your comfort zone try things you may have never tried or discover um, amazing new favorites if you want to check out ipsy make sure to check out the link in the description box if you like today's video give it a big thumbs up and most importantly subscribe to the channel I post every single day you do not want to miss it hit the little notification bell and you will be notified every single time I upload a new video I love you guys I hope Hope you are happy, safe, and healthy wherever you are. I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.